Today I woke up to a really cool video with a great strategy, but I thought there was something that I can add to this. The video was from Ricky over at Income School, and ironically, I was having a conversation with Ricky on Zoom about a week ago, and he brought this strategy up to me. I just didn't know that they were gonna be making a video on it. And so it's a really simple strategy, and it's actually very clever. I'll put a link to this video down below. I'm a big fan of Income School. I've mentioned them in the WP Crafter Facebook group. I think you guys should be on their channel because they share some great strategies. So this strategy was very clever. It had to go with, if you have a blog post that the intention of the blog post isn't to really have uh, is any affiliate links or anything like that. How can you still generate some revenue, some affiliate revenue from those blog posts? And it was very clever in what he walked through is at the end of the post, add a bit there that says, here's some of the products that we use and then list out maybe two or three products, four products and have links to those products. And then you would use Gutenberg's inbuilt reuse block feature to be able to add that to posts in the future. And then if you want to make an edit or a change, you would go to Gutenberg's interface to change that. But I have maybe a better way. And I understand why Ricky probably didn't mention this because it would require you using a professional version or a pro version of the theme that you have your, your uh, blog on. So let me show you a better way, I think, to do this, a more dynamic way. And there's lots of advantages to doing it this way. So let me show you and then I'll get into some of the advantages of doing it this way. So here I have a blog post about improving your golf swing and I have it in a category called golf, golf swing. And so we're going to use the elements feature or the hooks feature of the pro theme that I'm using, the cadence theme. But all pro versions of themes, Astro theme has it, all these themes already have this if you have the pro version. And what this is gonna allow you to do is based on rules, automatically add this little bit at the end of your blog post. So for example, if you, and then you can have it be based on maybe the category or a tag that you choose. So it'll automatically be added. A big advantage of this is if you already have say a hundred blog posts on your website, you don't have to go back into each one and manually add the reusable block that he talked about in his video. So let me show you how to do this. So I have the blog post right here. And when you scroll to the bottom, it's just just the end of the blog post. So let's go ahead and create one of these hooked elements and you'll see what I'm talking about. So here we are in the back end of my website and I'm using the Cadence theme in the pro version of it. I'll have a link down below, but like I said, most pro themes are already gonna have this type of feature. So this is where I need to go to to enable the various pro features of this theme and it's right here where it's called hooked elements. And when you have this toggled on, you're gonna have this elements option here in the menu. And when you click on it, you can see I got a whole bunch of them. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a new one. And what you can do is you can create one of these for each of the individual categories on your website. So your recommendations that you're adding at the bottom of your post are more targeted. Um, so you can just go ahead and you'll click on add new. You'll get this kind of a, a pop up. We just want a default element type. We would give it a name. And then right here, we would fill out some information. Now I've already done one of these. Here it is right here. I just named it footer promotion for golf clubs or footer isn't actually the right word. It may be the end of post content. And so here is the little bit of content I wanted to make it look naturally and organic like it's at the end of the blog post, even though it's being added in dynamically. And then I can list out here or whatever design I wanted to list out some of the recommendations or the recommended products uh, that I have. Okay, so first step is to create that little bit that you want automatically inserted at the end of your blog posts. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna assign this to blog posts based on categories. So I have to click on this icon right here to show the element settings. You might be just right here. You'll just click on this little icon to get right here. So first we wanna choose the placement. And when you click on the down arrow, there's lots of options. And so the one that we're gonna want is probably right, let's see, let me make sure, single inner content uh, after, 
enter, let's see, there it is. This is the one we want. And you can just start manually typing it in after inner content. And what this means is it's going to be when the blog post content is done, it's just going to be put, put at the bottom of that. So I want to choose that. And then we need to choose the rules for when this is going to be added and what this is going to be added to. So for show on, I'm going to go ahead here and I want this to be single posts like this, single posts. And then right here, select the posts by. So uh, how am I going to choose these posts? Is it going to be individual ones or grouped ones based on a category? I'm going to choose group. And then right here, I'm going to choose based on category, but it could also be tags. And then right here, it's pulling a list of the categories. And so if I have a blog post with the category golf swing, that is when I want this to display. And then right here for user settings, we want this to show to all users. And uh, this looks good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and click on update. And now this is updated. So whenever I create a new blog post and I put it in this category, this bit of content is going to be added to the bottom of that blog post. So I'll go ahead and click on refresh. And now I'm going to scroll down and you're going to see it's naturally added. So here's the last paragraph in my blog post. But then you can see right here, it's gone ahead and added that little bit of text that I put right here and it does it all dynamically. So when you do it this way, you can create multiple of them that are targeted based on categories of your blog post. So the recommendations will be better. So for example, in my website, I have a website about WordPress stuff. You might want to subscribe to the channel. Uh, and say I make a blog post on how to do something people have been asking me to do with LearnDash, which is a learning management plugin. And it's there's not really any kind of revenue earning opportunities in that blog post, which is totally fine. But at the bottom, uh, maybe whenever I tag a post that is LearnDash and I tag it LearnDash, it puts a little bit of an extra paragraph and a couple links at the bottom. And then it says, oh, and by the way, here are some of my favorite LearnDash accessories that are, are add-ons that you might get some benefit out of and I can just list them out of course presto player is the best one um, but uh, I can just list those out and it's an opportunity for people that are there to uh, see some recommendations and then click on them and make a re revenue earning opportunity for my blog so you can use the same strategy now it's not my strategy by the way it's Ricky's strategy from the income school I have a link to his video down below he's a great guy you'll be in good hands uh, over there with uh, with them and what they're doing and I'm a subscriber too, so a subscriber and a fan. So anyways, if you appreciate this video, uh, give it a thumbs up, number one. Number two, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit on that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.